Welcome to Radio Friends Friday, November the 9th, and we've got two topics today. Uh, let's start, first of all, with Jessica Dooley from Jefferson City. Actually, this is kind of like our Jeff City uh, Radio <laughs> Friends today. We've got two guests from Jeff City. Capital Hi. Arts, good to have you here, Jessica. Good to be here, Paul. So what, what have you got going on with Capital Arts? We've got a lot going on. We just opened up our Give the Gift of Giving exhibit, mm -hmm. and that's our big holiday exhibit. So the gallery's all decorated. For all decorated for the holidays. For the holidays, can you believe it? <laughs> yeah. No, I cannot because I still think of it as being August. I know. And I here know. we are. We're uh, about a month and what two or three weeks away from Christmas. I now. know. So you got to yeah. come into the gallery. We have all of the artists from the surrounding areas and in Jefferson City. They brought their artwork and uh, gifts for the holidays, mm -hmm. good stocking stuffers and okay. things. So all the artwork will be available for purchase? Is that yes, right? Yes, you can buy it. So, so okay. So you're giving so the gift of art. So when somebody comes in yes. and they see a, a, a piece of artwork that they just have to have. They have to have it. And uh, we've got some really nice uh, smaller pieces too that are handmade. We've got uh, some woodwork, toys there at the gallery. We've got some jewelry that's made by artists. So we've got a lot of different things there. How many, uh, just off the top of your head, how many different items would you say? Oh, we have over a hundred items. Okay, and, and they're all local. Uh, it's local. It's local artists. It's handmade. All of the so the they artwork are one there. of a kind. Very one of a and kind. Unique. They're unique. They're Collectors large items. gifts, small gifts. Really fun. You should come in and just uh, check out what's in there and buy some gifts for okay, people. Okay, so where, tell us where, where are you located? We're located on Missouri Boulevard. We're the Little Rock Gallery, uh, right by the Washington Park Ice Arena mm -hmm. at twelve oh three Missouri Boulevard. And we also have a bunch of uh, workshops coming up. Up. There are classes, one-day classes there for the holidays. So if you're interested in uh, taking some classes, learning how to make your own unique ornaments or your own jewelry or painting or drawing, we also have okay. those workshops okay. so what, available. You want to you run through the classes that you have? Or the, uh... We've got uh, a big variety of them. We've got some work cl uh, workshops to uh, make jewelry. If you want to make your own jewelry, mm -hmm. you can, can you do, do that. all this in one day? Some of them you can. The okay. jewelry classes for one day we have. If you want to make your own gift bags, uh, so that you can wrap up the gifts that you just bought. Uh, oh, okay. So you need. Okay. Uh, you can do that. We've got an ornament making class as well, and those are just one day workshops, and they're mm -hmm. all at the Capital Arts Gallery. Gallery. So you can do okay. some shopping and take a class at the same time. And then if your kids are interested in taking some classes, we've got some comic classes going on and uh, we have some drawing and painting classes for okay. adults. So if people want information on any of this or they want more information about Capital Arts, In what general, do they do? They can go online at www.capitalarts.org. You can find information about who the artist uh in the gallery or exhibiting, they can also find out about the classes, or you can just stop in if you want to see the. Now, if you want to, re gallery. can you register for the classes online? Uh, you can uh, see the classes online. You need to call, and I will get you registered. And you can call okay. 635 8355. 573 635. 8355. 8355, and that's how you register. That's how you register, but you can get a whole list of the classes that we have available online at www.capitalarts.org. Okay, but you got to call Jessica to register. Yes, I can tell you all about it. All right, and there are, there are <laughs> operators right now? With standing by, that's standing right. Standing <laughs> by. The whole bank of, massive bank of operators standing by to answer questions. That's right. We'd be more than happy to answer any questions <laughs> you had and get them registered. All right. Jessica, thank you so much. Thank you. For coming all the way up from Jeff City for us. Jessica Dooley, Capital Arts. Now, this is the other half of our, <laughs> of our Jefferson City Day. We've got Kelly Smith, River City Habitat for Humanity. Welcome. Thanks for having me. And uh, we'll say happy, happy Thanksgiving to you. All early. right. Well, same to you. Okay. So <laughs> what do we have going on with River City Habitat for Humanity? We have a lot going on. We just dedicated our 70th local house, and we're getting ready to start our 80th local house. That's, that's pretty, uh, pretty amazing. Yeah. I mean, it's about 20 years that we've been active in Jefferson City, and those are homes that we've sold to low-income working families. They're making house payments that will help build future habitat So homes. you just dedicated the 70th. Correct. Mm -hmm. Now when you do a dedication, what, what what happens at a dedication ceremony? It's really a celebratory time because the family has put in hundreds of hours of sweat equity and the volunteers that have helped them build their home are there and we uh, recognize everyone that contributed. It's got to be pretty emotional. It's too. emotional. We present the keys to the family. We present mm -hmm. a Bible to the family and it's all, there's a lot of tears shed, but it's a positive thing, you know, it's right, a happy right. time. 
And uh, so, so you do this for every house that you dedicate? We do. And those are the homes we build in Jefferson City. We also are a house for a house affiliate of Habitat. So what that means is that whenever we build a home in Jefferson City, we also send a tithe to build a Habitat house in another part of the world. So when we say we've built 70 homes in Jefferson City, we've also built 70 homes in places like Mozambique, Malawi, Vietnam, Cambodia. So we've built, it's not just a local mission, it's international mission as well. And so we're building homes all over the world based on the donations we receive locally. Mm -hmm. what, what is the average cost of building a, building a house, a Habitat for Humanity? In Jefferson City, the average cost is around $80,000 for everything, including you know acquiring a property and building the house. Um, some of them are more, and some come in less than that. But when you say eighty thousand dollars, that's almost unthinkable in being able to purchase land, build a house, right. all the labor, all the material. Sure. And and that's made possible because of so much volunteer, right? Yeah, that's right. Because we have volunteers that contribute the labor, and then we also have really good partners in the community that are suppliers and and contractors that contribute their work because they believe in the cause. Mm -hmm. So. We if, have if a lot people, going on. If, if folks want to help out, yeah. you, can always, you can always take more help, right? We always need help. We always need people to swing a hammer, but we also need people to help us mentor the families and to work in our restore to help raise money. And um, they can find out all about the ways to get involved at rivercityhabitat.org. Okay, so it's www.rivercityhabitat, all yes. one word, mm -hmm. .org. Right. And that will take you to the website, and that will give you all the information you need yeah. if you want to volunteer, mm -hmm. uh, if you want to donate money. Right. If they want to shop at the ReStore, all that information is online. And then our phone numbers and email and all that's on there as well. Do you always, is there always a house under construction? There is. In Jefferson City, we usually have three to five going at a time. At one time? Yeah. It's pretty busy. I mean, it's a good thing. It's a blessing that we're able to do that because the people we're building for are low-income working families that are driving the city buses, they're working at the nursing homes, they're working in the prison, and they deserve to have a decent place of to go home to. Of course they do. So it's www.rivercityhabitat.org That's for right. For more information. Kelly Smith, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Continued success with what you're doing. Thank you. You really are a blessing to Central oh, Missouri. Thank you. Our, uh, our program... Directed by Travis McMillan of the Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Kyle Fellings. Our uh, floor director is Charles Minchu. And our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. And if you'd like to watch this again or listen to it, go to kbia.org. Click on Talk Shows and Radio Friend. Bye-bye.